Just have a look in the comments below. Go and have a look if you're new to this and see how many people are scared by this letter. There won't be one, I promise you. Hi, it's me again, and regular viewers of this channel will know that I love doing videos about the TV license letters because it helps so many people out there. People who have stopped paying their TV license because they can't afford it, or a political stance against the BBC, whatever, who don't know too much about it, will get these letters. And a lot of people get really scared by them. That's why they write them the way they write them, is to scare people. And I like doing it because people stumble across these videos and they get the reassurance they need that they're not doing anything wrong, even though the scary letter may suggest they are. So if you've received a letter that had a big headline on it that said something like this, new visits authorised from a certain date, your details have been passed on. So if you've received this letter, I understand that you could be scared by that. Of course you could. Anyone who doesn't know what they're all about could genuinely be scared by that. So I'm going to break it down for you and let you know everything you need to know about this letter. So reading on, we then get a red headline. Oh, scary. For the urgent attention of the legal occupier. Our records show there is still no TV license at your address. As you have not responded to our previous communications, enforcement officers from your location enforcement division have been authorised to visit this address any day after this certain date. I had to redact a lot of information from this one. Do you think that maybe TV licensing are putting more personal details on the letters than usual? Because there's loads more on there than usual. Because they know I have to edit them out when I'm making these blooming videos. And I'm not the only one doing it. Loads of you out there make videos about the letters. So maybe it's just to ag us out. We have to keep redacting. Anyway, doesn't matter. So it says they're threatening you with a visit. They're saying, look, you still haven't bought a thing that legally you don't have to have. So we're going to send the boys around to demand money with menaces. That's basically what it says. Now, what it should say here, I mean, it does say, look, a legal reminder, you need to be covered by a TV license to watch or record live programs and any channel device or to download. So they're telling you a legal reminder. What they should do is spin that around the other way, right? That would be the fairest, I just said fair and TV license nearly in the same sentence, didn't I? The fairest way to do it would be to say, look, Without a TV license, you can't watch or record anything that's being broadcast or use BBC iPlayer. Now, our records show you don't have a TV license. So if you're doing either of those things, you do need to buy one. So would you like us to send someone around so you can buy one in person? Isn't that the fairest way to do it? Because what they've done there is assumed guilt. They're assuming you're doing something you shouldn't be doing. At no point are they asking you, if you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, they're assuming it. Our record show there's still no TV license, and Abu has not responded to us previous communications. Enforcement officers are on their way to your address immediately in a swap van. It's crazy, isn't it? I don't know how they get away with it. It's as you have not responded to our previous communications. You don't have to respond to them. So if you choose you don't want a television license anymore, you can tell them you don't require a license anymore by doing a no license needed declaration. You can do that. I've done it in the past and I do advise people to do it. If they know all your details, why not do it? It cuts down on the letters and everything, right? But you don't have to do it. You can just blank them, which is what I plan to do when I move house shortly. Just blank them. You don't have to tell them anything. If you currently pay one, you can just stop your direct debit and blank them and you'll get these letters. You don't have to respond. There's no law saying you have to respond to a letter from these people. They are assuming you're guilty and they're trying to scare you into thinking you're doing something wrong by not having a tele license. Surely you should have a TV license. Everybody has a television license. Why don't you? Here's what they're saying. That's mental. It's just crazy. I don't know how they get away with it. I don't know how they get away with it. What will happen next if we don't hear from you? An officer may visit any day from Monday to Sunday. They can visit in the morning, during the day or in the evening. And if no one answers, they can come back. Sounds like a threat. Doesn't it? Does that, does that or does that not sound like a threat? We can come round at any time we want, and if you don't answer, we'll just come back. That's what they're saying. It's threatening language. How do they get away with it? How do they get away with it? And now it's important to remember at this point, right? They even if you do the no license needed declaration or you just blank them off, however you play the game, if you don't want to pay the license fee, you may very well still get a visit from them. And there is only one correct way to deal with it. Because what you can remember, the people that visit, they call themselves enforcement officers. They don't have any powers at all. They don't have police powers, they don't have bailiff powers, they have no powers. They have the powers of a door-to-door -door salesman. If you don't believe that, check the TV licensing website. They even say that on there. They don't have any special powers. They're door-to-door -door salesmen. So don't be scared of them. 
Don't talk to them. Don't sign their nonsense bits of paper or their digital device, anything like that. If you open the door to one, don't be scared to open the door in your own house, although many people have the video doorbells and things now, which are pretty good for stuff like that. But you should never be scared to open the door in your own house. So if the door knocks and you're not paying for your TV license, don't be scared to open it. Just open it up. So if you don't recognise them, obviously, if it's your nan or something, you might want to let them in. But if you don't recognise them, say, hello, who are you? And they'll say, hello, I'm from TV licensing, and then start gassing. And you go, ah, let me stop you there. No, thanks. Bye-bye. Close the door. They can't put the foot in the door. They can't keep knocking on the door. They're not allowed to do it. They're not allowed to do it. And they may very well come back, but why would they waste their time? If you're so clued up and confident that you know not to talk to these people, why would they waste their time coming back? They earn commission. they got bills to pay like the rest of us. So they're going to go and find some easier prey that will open the door and will talk to them. So you might get a repeat visit, maybe once, maybe twice, I don't know. But they're going to get a door shut in their face again. Why would they waste their time doing that? And if you don't believe me that this is a thing that you can do, I'll put a, a link to a video below with people closing doors in their faces and they just toddle off because it's the best way to deal with an unwanted door-to-door -door salesman, isn't it? It just is. If this address remains unlicensed, the investigation will continue. This could lead to detection equipment being used. I haven't seen that on a letter for ages, the detection equipment being used. I love that. That's great. Anyway, right. If this address remains unlicensed, the investigation will continue. So they're investigating your address for not having a television license. How's that investigation going? Well, let's have a look to see who this letter is addressed to. The legal occupier. So your investigation's going cracking. You haven't even found out this person's address. This could lead to detection equipment being used. It just makes you laugh. Now, they did have vans in the past, and the vans had TV licensing written down the side of them. The vans did exist. Inside them was a load of nonsense equipment. I've got video footage of them using some pokey little aerial to point at a block of flats going, yeah, they've got a telly up there. It's a bloody block of flats. Someone's going to have a telly up there. <laughs> what are you detecting? What are you detecting? And they reckon they could detect on the CRT screens what you were watching. One, who the hell uses a CRT screen anymore? And two, most TV doesn't come through the aerial anymore. Was there a satellite dish or through the internet? And you can't detect that with a detector van. <laughs> what is this, the Matrix or something? It's absolute nonsense. And if you, you really do still believe that they have detection equipment, ask yourself one question. In all the court cases for non-payment of the TV license, sadly there's been quite a few over the years, why in not one of the court cases has evidence been given from TV detection equipment? Not once. Not once. Tells you everything you need to know, right? Absolute nonsense. I haven't seen that in a letter for ages. That's genuinely cheered me up. Been trying to cut down or quit the old smoking again. And uh, been a bit grumpy last couple of days with the patches on. But that's cheered me right up. They may interview you under caution in accordance with national criminal law. And the maximum penalty is a criminal conviction, a £1,000 fine plus any legal cost. Right, so let's tackle that. They may interview you under caution, blah, blah, blah. How are they going to do that? We're not talking to them. We just close the door in their face. They're not police. So we just close the door in their face. They're not interviewing us for anything. They're going home without their commission. The maximum penalty is a criminal conviction, a £1,000 fine. Now, the maximum penalty is a £1,000 fine. And if you don't pay it, you could get a criminal conviction for it. What they won't say here is that the £1,000 fine is means-tested and it's really rarely, rarely, properly rarely given out. The average fine for all the fines given out, I'm told by experts, is about 170 quid, which ain't far off the cost of a TV licence. But how could they possibly know you're doing anything wrong and to give you that £1,000 fine if you haven't talked to them? Because the detection equipment's nonsense. Now, you shouldn't be watching anything you shouldn't be watching without a telly licence anyway. I never condone that. But the only way they would know if you're doing something wrong is if you talk to them when they knock on your door. They earn commission. They're very good at twisting people's words. And some people even do let them into the property to check and end up in trouble. Do not talk to them. And there is literally nothing they can do. Nothing. So if you've received this letter or similar one, I hope I've put your mind at ease about it a little bit. It's quite a good scary one, this one. It's one of the more entertaining ones I've read. And I can see how it would genuinely scare some people. But it don't scare me. And it doesn't scare anybody in our community here of not paying the TV license. Have a look in the comments below. Go and have a look if you're new to this and see how many people are scared by this letter. There won't be one.
I promise you. And also, you know, while you're down there, leave your comments. Let me know if you're new to this and if you received this letter. I'll be interested to see it. If you've got any letters you think I haven't got, you'll find out how to contact me below as well. I do have quite a long playlist of these now, so I may very well have covered the letter you're talking about. So don't feel bad if you don't get a reply. And also, you know, you've made it to the end of the video. Congrats and thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you like it, if you like what we do here, if you want to be part of the community of trying to fight the ridiculous TV license and getting rid of these ridiculous letters, do maybe consider hitting the subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything to do and um, gets, you, gets you part of the fight and keep you up to date with all the latest videos that I come out with. Speaking of latest videos, I'm going to go off and make a couple more of them, which I will see you in soon. Thanks for watching.